all right guys welcome back to my channel Silos fishing i hope you guys will enjoy this video today it was definitely tough out there we were out there for a couple of hours went through three gopro batteries uh, my phone's pretty much dead but i did manage to snag up two decent sized bass i hope you guys can stick around and just take a look at this and um for the most of the video guys it was really difficult fishing but i hope you guys stick around and enjoy this video let's get right into it Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Silos Fishing. I'm out here today on Marine Creek Lake. Uh, out here again with local anglers. We are freezing today. It's a little cold. This morning it was about uh, 39 when we left the house. So we're hoping to get on some fish out here in the back. It took us a while to get set up, but uh, hopefully my audio today is a little bit better. My buddy hooked me up with this uh, clip on mic here, so hopefully you'll get a good shot from the back view now and you get to get this uh, great quality audio. So we're gonna give that a shot. Got my fish finder right up front right here, trying to learn how to use it a little bit better. But um, pretty much the setup for today is just going to be a white buzz bait. Then I have over here a black and blue uh, flipping jig with a little Z-Man TRD Craw. And I also have the uh, KVD 1.5 in the shad color. This is the hard knock version. So that's what I have for today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head up here up to these creek arms and hopefully we can get on them. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys, we're making our way back into uh, some creek arms up here in the cove. Um, but if you guys watched my last video on Marine Creek, I did hook into at least a two pounder and I lost him because I was fumbling with my net. And you just guys, you can't be doing that kind of stuff out here. So let me learn you something real quick. If you have a long net that's horrible and you're on a kayak, you need a shorter one, you just cut it. You just freaking cut it. I should have learned my lesson, but after I lost that fish, I learned something and I uh, cut my net down. So hopefully today I won't be losing any fish. As you guys know, in all my videos, I'm always dropping fish for some reason, and I'm always losing fish. That's just the way I am, guys. So anyways, uh, we're going to get right into it. Hopefully, uh, my boy from Loki Anglers over here, he's already casting out, trying to get ahead of me today. Um, he's right back there, as you guys can barely tell from my net in the way. But uh, hopefully, I can get him on some fish out here today. And... Uh, if I take the skunk, A, hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, keep on paddling. What I like about this lake, it has a whole bunch of dead logs and wood all around the spaces here. Like this coat here. This is all dead wood right here, guys. I love throwing me a square bill, a freaking jig, you name it, some top water. I like doing all that. This next cove over here on the right, where we'll be fishing later on, it's all dead logs all the way completely around and even up and up and down the middle of it. So that's what we're getting into guys. So Okay, so just trying out this little clip on mic here and hopefully the audio is really good. Hopefully you guys can hear me better just because I like this. I like this angle right here, this shot. But a lot of times with uh, just with the mic that I have, it's just not working out. There's a lot of bait suspended right here. A lot. There's some bass right under it. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I see a whole bunch of bait fish, and then every now and then off to the side or down low, I'll see a big red blip on my thing. Now, there's some right here that are vertical. I know those are crappie, but... 
It's still a good amount of them. <laughs> Sitting in about five foot of water, guys. So we shall see how this goes. There it goes a little bit better. Pretty much making my way into the back of this creek here. This is where I told you guys that it turns right. And uh, normally here's where I have most of my luck in this little section here and then all the way up here. That's normally where I've caught most of my fish in this lake so um let's go ahead and give it a shot here hopefully we can catch some if not we could always come back out and hit that other uh that other creek on that feeds up into the lake back here and hopefully we can get on something back there but i'm sure we can get on at least one fish one or two fish each day all right guys so i was just retying some different lures on there i cut my uh jig off and i went ahead and i threw on a lipless crankbait you know i was gonna try to find them so i threw on a lipless crankbait and i was setting the tension knob and this happened here uh like i said i was still tying on i was tying this guy on and literally i had just first cast with it and then i was going to tie on this drake bait on my other rod but uh I guess it's the lipless today, so it's a nice little fish here. Was not expecting that. I am hoping my GoPro was recording, but uh, well, we'll see. Let's get this hook out of this guy and let him go. That was totally unexpected. <laughs> get a measurement for you guys just since why not right um, yeah it's a nice long one dude let's go ahead and get them on here you guys probably won't be able to see it but uh get his mouth closed up on the bump board 15 inches little 15 incher he is cold so let's go ahead and get the release guys right here and he's gone all right let me finish tying all my baits then and then i'll come back to it So I went ahead and uh, let me try to turn you guys a little bit better. I went ahead and I tied on something a little different, and I Texas rigged it, made it weedless. Went ahead and tied on this uh, black and chartreuse tail lizard with the pegged uh, weight here. And then I skin hooked the top so it's weedless. I'm going to take this approach to it since the water clarity is pretty much nothing. And so I'm thinking maybe if I toss this around I'll be able to get some. Hopefully. There's that crankbait there. The lizard on this other rod.
Dang it, bro. I think I just spooked one out of this section. I saw a whole bunch of like glass minnows flickering around and then I seen a big old shadow just take off. Got one. Yeah. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, oh yeah. Got a full mouth of my crankbait on him. He's up on this rock. On a square bill. Huh? A chartreuse square bill at that. A chartreuse one. Oh, dude, he ate the crud out of this thing. Nope, silent. There you go, guys. Fish number two. Uh, definitely, definitely been grinding for this, though. This fish did not come easy, guys. This, this guy here took a while to catch. Went to two GoPro batteries and... Uh, Finally managed to grab one of the square bill. Take it out of his mouth. Man, about time. Silent square bill, guys. Check this fish out. It's a nice one for this area. Let's go ahead and uh, get a little video release of him. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and release our fish number two. There he is. Definitely took work to get that guy. All right, guys. So that does it for today. It was fairly slow and uh, caught two fish. But it's just been extremely difficult. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off here. Thank you guys for watching. And everything I use will be linked down below. We're probably going to stick around this area for a little bit longer. Try to get him on a fish. But it's been pretty hard out here guys so yeah hopefully we have better luck tomorrow we plan on fishing tomorrow and uh, seeing if we can't get on anything else or maybe something better tomorrow so we'll see